Hey guys, um, Monica checking in again. I just wanted to post a video blog about a very exciting event that's coming up soon in my area, and I think it's going around in like 13 different cities in the United States, and I'm super excited, and it's going to be awesome for the fashion industry. Um, if you haven't guessed already, what I'm talking about is the Fashions Night Out. Um, it's going to be held September 10th, 2009, um, in all different cities like uh, New York, which is mine, Paris, Milan, endless. So check the website when you're done watching this and uh, see if your city's on there. Um, what basically I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be updating you daily on the different events that are going to be going on during Fashion Night Out. Now, in New York, it's being held parallel to the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week, which is great because, first of all, all the designers are already going to be in the city, and second of all, what better time to hold a huge fashion shopping day than during a Fashion Week in New York City. So, um, I've gotten information from different sources. Um, internet, word of mouth, um, but basically, Fashion's Night Out is going to be September 10th from 6 till they're urging stores to stay open till 11 p.m., and it's supposed to stimulate the economy, get people back to shopping, um, stores are going to be doing promotions during the time to get people out there to shop, um, and it's great. If you need a reason to shop, if you just love shopping, if you want to run into a celebrity or two, if you don't want to shop and you just want to look around and you want to have some champagne and mixed drinks or knock back a beer, this is definitely something you need to check out. Um, New York and Company, um, the City of New York, Vogue, Council of Fashion Designers of America, and 700 stores in New York City are going to be doing this event. So it's going to be excellent. It's going to be great. Um, 700 stores in all five boroughs of New York are going to stay open late. I mean, that's amazing. Um, Anna Wintour is going to kick off the event at Macy's in Queens. Um, it's not so much in city, so I won't be attending that event. And I don't really think that... They're going to drag to draw too many people to that event because of it. Um, so maybe they should have done something bigger with her. I don't know. Um, it's, like I said, an effort to boost uh, the economy, consumers willing to buy um, locally as well as globally. Um, and it's going to be a great event for fellow fashionistas and just fashion connoisseurs, people who enjoy it, people who are brand new into fashion and want to learn something could definitely gain from this event. Um, uh, I'm trying to think what else. Um, there's going to be pop-up stores as well. Um, stores such as Rachel Rachel Roy will be um, included in the pop-up stores and um, there will be plenty of celebrities. Um, Diddy, the Olsen Twins, um, Cindy Crawford, and less. Of course, it's the designers who are just celebrities in themselves. Um, I'm going to count down my top events. I'm not going to label them. I'm not going to label them 1 through 10, 20, 30, because I'm going to find out new events each day, and I'm going to start you off with a couple today. Um, Rag and Bone. Um, this is for your guys. If girls, you need to bring the guy out you need to take a mirror. Um, Rag and Bone will have their Christopher Street store um, turned into an Irish pub. So there's going to be beer and a live Irish band and, you know, it's going to be great. So that's at 100 for Christopher Street in the city. Um, first of all, and their clothes are amazing. Um, Adam the Paints, um, I don't think their party is starting until 11. Um, so that's cool, but, so they're going to keep the store open at 11, and then they're going to party after that, from what I think, don't hold me to it, um, and their meatpacking district, yeah, okay, their meatpacking district will be open until 1, sorry, um, there's going to be free cocktails, um, 
personalized t-shirts, and this is the best thing of all. I don't know if any of you have heard, but Havana's has been doing pop-ups in stores all in New York City, and they're going to have a pop-up at the Adam Lapine store, so you can customize your Havana's, you know, basically, you know, get them for next season, so they're, you're ready to have them in the spring, you don't have to go searching for them, you know, you already have them, so it's great, you know, it's good. Um, H&M, all-time favorite. Um, all H&Ms will stay open late. That's what they say in, in the area. I think it's in the five boroughs, but I don't think on Long Island they're going to stay open late. Um, the Herald Square store is going to be where it's at, and, um, they're going to have something where you can pose for a celebrity sty a stylist and photographer, and then your photo's going to be projected overlooking the billboard of the Meatpacking District. So that's kind of cool. Um, if you ever wanted to be one of those models, that's this is your time. I'm too short and stumpy to be a model, but, you know, whatever. Um, Juicy Couture, um, uh, Hamish Bowles will be at, uh, Juicy. He's, like, Anna Wintour's side kick, whatever you want to say. Um, they'll be at their Fifth Avenue flagship store, um, and they're gonna have, like, a lounge... Gentlemen's Club, which is like the founder, Gayla Nasha Taylor's eccentric English Manor that um, is going to be in the books of her machine. And that's um, 655th Avenue. So I don't know, I'm sure you've all been to Juicy by now in the city. It's huge. Um, so that's all I'm going to give you for now. Because um, you got to check in later for more. So keep me updated if you guys hear anything else in Fashion Site Out, New York City. And I love keeping you guys updated, and um, I'm going to be doing up, the, up to the minute updates until September 10th. And I hope you guys um, enjoy this, and I hope you guys um, get out there and shop, because there's nothing that makes you feel better than shopping. Anyway, um, Monica out, and I will see you guys next time.